Whistler Live, live at five with Glenn Misha, but uh, we'll tell you in a second about our special occasion to go along with that. Are we live right now? Oh, hello. It, it is five. It's live at five. What, it, what, what do I know? Well, good afternoon, everybody. We got anybody checking in yet, Matthew? I know that we've sent out an invite to a lot of folks. I'll do a little bit of talking. We got some folks on Facebook. Hello to our friends in Facebook land. For those of you watching from home, please share the feed. Whistlerlive.ca. You can watch this on your large screen TVs at home. Again, this is our Sunday session, live at 5. I want to remind everyone on behalf of Whistler Live that uh, we've got another great show coming up this Friday with the Hair Farmers. That'll be... Live at 5 as well on Friday night. That is our APRE show, the APRE nothing show, but uh, we'll call it the APRE show. Should be a lot of fun. How's it sounding out there? Make some comments. Let us know how, how the sound is coming through in your homes and on your Facebook feeds. We're going to do a little bit of testing with the sound. We hope everything uh, sounds good to you all. Happy birthday to Shauna. We got people Shana wishing you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. I just want you to know that you're not going to see her right away, but she's looking very sparkly. I hope that you're looking very sparkly wherever you happen to be. I do want to remind everyone that uh, we are practicing safe social distancing here. I'm about uh, one Joey Ramon away from Glenn Misha. I'm about uh, well, a really big Joey Ramon away from Matthew back there, and this, that's important. Um, at Whistler Live, we want to be able to support our local artists and uh, and do so in a safe and uh, professional way, the best that we can. Uh, the Hair Farmer Show last week just blew our minds. Uh, the generosity of the community was incredible, raising, I think, well over 50000 I think they've got to have gotten over 50000 by now, which was uh, really sparked by a generous donation from the Whistler Blackcomb Foundation. They matched up to $20,000, so we're very indebted to to the Whistler Blackcomb Foundation and to each and every person who who donated to uh, a wonderful cause for the food bank. And uh, that link is still up on our Whistler live stream, and uh, you can check out that performance. I think we're going to keep it up for another day, and then we're going to tear it down, and uh, off we go. I do want to introduce a few people here. This gentleman behind us, you see this guy sitting down right here? That's Matthew, everybody. Matthew, say hello. Matthew is actually the brains behind Whistler Live. And uh, of course, Glenn and I, we just, uh, we just tag along for fun. Now, is, is the camera looking good? Good, we got Glenn. We got 36 people watching. My brother Paul Bacon is out there. Paul is coming to us live from a Fort McMurray, Alberta. So we've got Fort McMurray, Alberta out there. Hello, Paul. Um, Sorry. Hey, I hear myself on your phone. That sounds great. Kristen Winson. So is Paul Madden from Ontario. Paul hey Madden. Paul. Hey, Paul. I, I do have something very important and serious to share with you. Uh, I did wake up the other morning and uh, I had a sore throat. Um, I had a I, I felt very tired, and uh, I, I, I was throwing up for an hour, and I was a little bit nervous, but it just turned out I had a hangover, so <laughs> everything was okay. And uh, What about that sore throat? How'd you get that? I got that sore throat from yelling at the children. Uh, I've got four kids. There are six of us locked into a home, and I know that there's people out there who are do going through the same thing right now. So uh, I'm happy to be in this garage. I'm just happy to be anywhere right now, let's be honest. So Whistler Live is uh, coming to you. I think my wife is actually faking the coronavirus. Either that or after four kids, she just wants to stay six feet away from me. But um bum I'm going to be doing the comic relief here tonight. My name is Andrew Bacon. For those of you who I have not met, and uh, a lot of Shauna's friends and our friends out there in uh, Whistler Live land, 
Um, I'll be your MC and your comic relief this evening. Our musical entertainment is Glenn Mishaw, and he's going to do a wonderful job. And also, there's a special uh, celebration tonight that we're attaching to our Whistler Live Live at Five Sunday session, and that is a birthday. Woohoo! Do we have a special birthday today, Glenn? We certainly do. It's Big Red. It's Big Red. It's Red's birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, Shauna, it's her birthday. Do we Big tell them what number it is? Because you are playing for 52 minutes tonight. Why are you playing for 52 minutes, Glenn? 52 whole years that Shauna has now been on Earth. That's wonderful. 52. Well done. And, uh, oh, I got a couple notes here. I, for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure that's every one, that's n none of you, uh, because uh, if you live in Whistler or you know anything about Whistler, you know about the Whistler Film Festival, and you would know that Shauna founded the Whistler Film Festival 20 years ago with her bestie. Cassie Lubin, and it has become Canada's coolest film fest. And 2020 is the 20th anniversary of the fest. And I know how important the film fest is to Shauna, all the hard work and dedication she puts towards that, along with the, her, her wonderful team. So for her birthday today, uh, she would like to, uh, you know, just acknowledge everyone involved with the film festival and also make a note that they are... Uh, they have a generous donor who has pledged $150,000 if Whistler Film Festival matches it by March 31st. $150,000. Now, when we talk about the film festival, we're talking about writers. We're talking about uh, uh, photographers, filmmakers, producers, and everyone involved in the arts. So not only uh, does Whistler Live want to promote live music, we also want to promote everyone involved in the art of filmmaking. Whistler Film Festival celebrates that every year, as many of you already know. So what I'm saying by that, for Shauna, for her birthday, she just hopes that if anyone out there with the means to do so would like to make a donation, you can do so tonight. Matthew's got a, a, a donate button, and uh, we'd appreciate any donations that uh, come our way for the Whistler Film Festival. Now, Glenn, how are you feeling tonight? Very good, Andrew. All right, buddy. Are you ready to play some songs? How many people do we have on uh, Facebook right now? 52. <laughs> 52 is even better. 52 people on Facebook. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, then we're growing. So we're at 51. It's Friday. Or excuse me. It's it's Sunday. I don't even know what day it is. Trust me. Uh, I've got my mic I've got my uh, my stuff right here. Just spray on the microphone when I'm done. I hope that you're all spending uh, a lovely Sunday at home. you got a nice dinner planned. You know, uh, this is uh, different times. We're all home with our families. We've got the Misha kids here. It's just the three of us, Matthew and I, doing the doing the uh, microphone here. Glenn's going to do the live entertainment. And uh, a few little surprises coming up. So it's a wonderful celebration here. Whistler Live tonight, live from 5. We present our good friend, Glenn Misha. Are you ready, Glenn? Take it away, pal.
tonight For all the boys you think they could outdo me Thanks for tuning in, tuning in, everyone. This is uh, Glenn Mishaw here, and we are live from Tapley's Farm in celebration of Shauna Hardy's 52nd birthday. And I'm going to play some songs for the next 52 minutes or so, and we're even going to bring up the boys, because Shauna's wish here today was that she could see all her boys play music together. We had to pretty much drag Callum, who's kicking and screaming, but he is going to participate. <laughs> Anyway, I like to, uh, a big fan of Americana music and Canadiana music. Lots of good stuff out there. But um, this next song I'm going to do, you guys, some of you guys may have seen this just on, Shauna kind of posted this last night. I wasn't paying attention while she was recording me. But this song is actually going out to some... Can anybody see if uh, Ted and Leslie Kermode are watching? Anybody, can they, can they tell? I think they're going to be watching. I think they're tuning in. Uh, Joe says more cowbell. More cowbell, yeah, buddy. But uh, this song is a song by a Canadian artist named Fred Eaglesmith, and I know, I know that Ted Kermode loves Fred Eaglesmith. So I'm going to play it. It's called Freight Train. Well, I just come down from Chippewa, had a station wagon and a hundred dollars, thinking about the girl I knew the year before. Well, I haven't seen her for some time Guess that I might go on by And her memory just keep flooding in And close that door Wish I was a day train, baby I wish I was a diesel locomotive I come running down your track Pass it to your door Wish I was a day train, baby Wish I didn't have a heart And you'd need a shovel full of coal but Just to get me started Wish I was a day train
time I slip behind it even further back Wish that such man would come out of the fog and change my track Wish I was a train, baby Wish I was a diesel locomotive I come running down your track Crashing through your door Wish I was a train, baby Wish I didn't have a heart And you'd be the shovel full of coal Just to get me started Wish I was a great train Wish I was a great train. Hey, hey, hey. Woo! Oh. Great train, Freddie Eagle Smith. That is sounding wonderful. Thank you very much. I have my prescribed mask on, and uh, guess what? It doubles as a yarmulke. So there we go. All right. <laughs> Oy vey, right? Hope you're enjoying the music, folks. There's about 60 of you out there right now. There's a bunch on YouTube, so the numbers are doing well. And uh, we hope that you're enjoying the show. Back to Glenn. All right, here's another one of my favorite artists. His name is Lyle Lovett. <laughs> Talk to me last night. Give me some good advice. Said, son, you ought to quit this old rambling all around. Bury you a sweet love. Okay, uh, we're not really taking requests, but if I like them, I'll take them. Oh, man, no, no courage. I have no courage. Here's a little Lucinda Williams for you.
Well, I hope everybody's enjoying their uh, socially distant Sunday afternoon, early evening. Andrew, do you have something you want to say? I'm just uh, enjoying my Sunday session here in, in Glenn's Garage. And there's people checking in from all over. I got my brother up there in Cabo. I got or my brother down in Cabo, San Lucas, Mexico, checking in. Cabo, yeah? Yep. Cool. What's your brother's name again? Peter? Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> Pedro Tosino. Hello, Pedro. Hello, Pedro. You sounded great, Glenn. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Shauna. Woohoo! Happy birthday. You look very sparkly and lovely. She looks very lovely. We'll let you see her a little bit later, okay? We'll get her on, on the microphone a little bit later. Take it away, Glenn.
Crosby. Ain't done nothing since I woke up today. How the hell can a person go to work in the morning? And come on home in the evening and have nothing to say. I'm from Montgomery. is rocking. Sean and I watched this Stevie Ray Vaughan special the other night. It was awesome. The house is a rocking. Don't come a knock. Johnny Smart. How's it going, Johnny Smart? Turn it up if you want, Johnny. There's a little Tom Waits. Come with me, pretty baby, we can take a long way home. 
everybody out out there? Everybody good out there? In COVID land? Let's go back to Canadian music. God, I love Canadian music. Bacon, you love Canadian music, don't you? I love Canadian music, and uh, anyone with the last name Bacon would have to love anything Canadian. Exactly. Canadian Bacon. So this next artist is just one of my absolute favorite dudes, and I met him once at the film festival because he had a little film. He's one of the great guitar players, great Canadian songwriters. His name is Bruce Coburn. Florida can juice and lime juice at 3 a.m. Blow a fruit fly off the rim of my glass. Raiders playing super chunk and the friends of Dean Martinez. It was bike tires, whacking potholes. Milling humans shivering in as you go. Using the space between us with bar throb, bass, and laughter. Smooth. the biggest heartbreak of all That was the straw broke open You 
this was the last night of the world. What I do, what I do to be different. I still wish I. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to uh, and watching Whistler Live here, live from Whistler, British Columbia, and the show continues. These are our COVID-19 shows. We're live streaming, bringing live, talented local entertainment into your home, into the safety of your home. We know that a lot of people are hunkering down and staying close to their families, keeping a safe distance, and uh, we encourage that. We want to remind everyone that in the production of this particular show, uh, Glenn, myself, Matthew, we've all kept a safe distance, and we encourage everyone to do so, whether you happen to be in a grocery store, whether you're walking on the Valley Trail, or whether you happen to be. This is all incumbent upon each and every one of us to uh, do our part and to support the healthcare professionals who are doing the very best that they possibly can to combat and to help treat people who are affected by this horrible, horrible, horrible uh, virus. So sit back, relax. This is all positive, folks. We want to share the music. Whistler Live is proud to present, in support of his beautiful wife's 52nd birthday, Mr. Glenn Bishaw. So, Shauna requested a song tonight, so I'm going to pretty much have to do that, right? This is a song called, Oh My Sweet Carolina, and no, it's not Sweet Carolina. up the station for the bus I was trying to find me something but I wasn't sure just what and I ended up with pockets full of dust so I went down to Cleveland and I ended up the same bought a borrowed suit and learned to dance I was spending money like the way it likes to rain. Man, I ended up with pockets full of cane. Oh, my sweet Carolina. What compels me to go? Oh, my sweet. to Vegas, but I gambled up my life, building newsprint boats, I raced the sewer main, I was trying to find me something, but I wasn't sure just what, funny how they say 
say that some things never change. Sweet Carolina, what compels me to go? Up here in the city, feels like things are closing in. The sunset's just my light bulb burning out. I miss Kentucky and I miss my family. All the sweetest winds they blow across the south. Okay, well then why don't we, uh, we're going to do a song that I just learned the other day that I just adore. I don't know, I've just fell, fallen in love with this song. It's a song by a band called Dawes. A lot of people probably have never heard of this band. If you like Americana, you'll, you'll have heard of this band. It's really cool. It's called, um, this song is called... Sorry about that. It's called All My Favorite Bands. Do you want to help me sing it, Sean? Or? Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, Whistler Live presents the birthday girl, Shauna.
the birthday girl dancing up a storm here. Wow. And I hope, right. you're, hope you're dancing wherever you are. We are going to bring up the Miss Shaw boys. All right, here we go with the Miss Shaw boys. Got a little bit of a treat here. Playing for their mother's birthday. Look at that. He's got his gel on. He's got, he's got, take a look at this microphone right there. Look at that. He's got the something about Mary hair. Okay, here we go. You put the gel in two days ago? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Whistler Live wants to welcome to the stage Jackson Misha, 12 years old, on guitar. Give him a big round of applause. Yeah. On the drums, 14 years of age, Callum Misha. We're going to get him a microphone right here. He's going to sing a few songs, but just a sec. Let me do what we need to do here. We only have two microphones because we're socially distancing. We are doing just that, and uh, as you can see, we're just... Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's show is brought to you by Microband. Microband, 24-hour protection. Glenn, we got a message. We got a message from your dad, Glenn. He says, uh, keep up the good work. Hey, Pops. Love you, Pops. Hello, Leona. This is kind of a Jackson. You want to introduce this song? Okay. Um, wish you were here, Pink Floyd. <laughs>
off with a song for Mr. Joey Polito. I think he's listening. He always loves this song and I love to play it for him. It's a little piece of original music.
Carson, bringing this tea alive. And of course, Mr. Andrew Bacon. Hundred years, hundred years, hundred years of change. second birthday wish to have my family play together and live stream it. I figured if you can't have a party, you can find a way to have a party, right? So, so grateful to Worcester Live, so grateful to Callum and Jackson and Glenn for making this happen. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Uh, there's 52 weeks in a year and we have this amazing opportunity to support the Worcester Film Festival, which is something that I've worked on for 20 years of my life. Do the math, it's a lot. But uh, we have a very generous donor that has will is willing to make a $150,000 donation if we match it. So dollar for dollar, if you're keen, it would mean a lot. You'll double your impact. That's my birthday wish, one and two. I'm almost there on number two, but really grateful to connect with everybody. And thank you again to Worcester Live. Thank you. All right. I think there's one song, I think there's one song that we forgot to do, which is happy birthday. So wherever you happen to be right now, and we've had hundreds of people checking in, I think we need to do happy birthday, don't you? Sure. Do you guys know how to do it? Yeah. You don't have to sing it. You can just enjoy it because we're going to sing it to you. Happy birthday to you. is happy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Woo! Woohoo! Well done, guys. Thanks, guys. On behalf of Whistler Live, Thanks we just want to send a special message out to everyone who tuned in. Thank you so much. Again, the Whistler Film Festival, uh, they need your support. They thank you very much for any contributions that will come in there. Matthew, great job. Glenn, awesome. I want to remind everyone that this Friday, we've got the Hair Farmers Live. It's called The Sequel. We had uh, close to uh, 1,000 people last time, and we raised over 50000 for the food bank. So we want to get that up, up, and, up and running. So tell all your friends. Check in Friday, 5 o'clock. It's going to be a fantastic part two. Apre show, so don't miss that. And uh, we'll tell you more about it as the week goes on. Thank you so much for checking in to Whistler Live. We are a community. We're all about community. We're all about uh, family as well. And I don't think a better show could be, uh, could exemplify that than to be in this garage with this great family and uh, the kids. Well done. I can't, I can't, I couldn't teach my kids how to flush a toilet, but look at this. 